In this video, I'm going to show you my VS Code extensions as a web developer in 2024. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I've just opened up VS Code here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to go full screen so I can you can see my VS Code extensions. So let's click the extensions tab, and this is where my VS Code extensions are. So I've got auto import, which automatically finds specific phrases and passes, which I can include within my project just to import libraries or import files it helps me find files quicker the next one is obviously the most popular one which is auto rename tag and also dot uh this material theme dark theme which is really cool so i can set the color theme. It, it is actually the color theme which i have now uh docker i don't actually really use docker i don't really set up containers i don't really do that stuff uh, i've got obviously react my react snippets i've got react and another another one which is just an add-on of that one and i've got express mongo snippets so obviously when i work with express or mongodb it provides snippets to do crud stuff like this so it just it's just quicker so like this one create express server app if i type in that keyword it's just it automatically just types it out in the file without me having to write all of the code get lens here's another one this one is really helpful uh especially when i'm trying to do version control and stuff like that you know git is very helpful in analyzing specific uh, stuff like variations in code the next one is obviously html and css right i've got that here i've also got a autocomplete ai autocomplete for php so when i'm writing my php code uh, i don't actually co really code that much in php i just wanted to you know i still mess around with projects that you know i work with in php i just mess around with php because i think it's really cool i think it's fun i think it's really intuitive to use especially for back-end you know development stuff you know so i mean it's just fun you know the php everyone is hating on php i think it's really good in certain aspects and certain things which you can do with php that some things which probably cannot right which i cannot name those because i'm just telling you that you know php is one of those languages that a beginner should learn <clears throat> but anyways enough of php but so yeah i have this php assists me while i'm developing in php which is really cool that's a recommendation for anyone who wants to learn php you know building projects in php i would suggest this extension because it will help you you know write out your code and it'll you know keep it clean and it'll provide suggestions it's ai assisted okay the next one is obviously javascript es6 code snippets which is another one uh like i said if i go back up here you can see it's got es7 you know snippets that's just an updated version so this one here you can also get this for you know vanilla javascript and stuff like that when you write javascript syntax it helps you write stuff and also specific keywords as well when you want to write out promises or you know asynchronous functions or whatever the case is right this is a suggestion for javascript developers out there so the next one is javascript and typescript uh, i don't really actually know what this one is i just saw it. okay anyways so json two TypeScript, which is really cool. Laravel is a, another one which I don't really work with. I don't, I don't actually use Laravel. I was just trying out a project on the Laravel website, which was done obviously PHP, and I thought it was really cool on you know how you know the Laravel framework comes with packed uh, information and authentication stuff. So I thought it was really cool. So here's another one, which is Laravel snippets, which is also a really cool one to use if you're writing Laravel, which I don't, by the way. Uh, live preview. So if I want to see an index file, you know, it just opens it up. Live SAS compiler. I haven't coded in SAS. I haven't used SAS in a little while. And it is a recommendation for those who write SAS instead of CSS, because uh, it is a compiler, which compiles uh, the SCSS code to CSS in real time. It is uh, good for fast development. The next one is similar to the one above, which is live preview, which is to do with specific application. And this opens up in a browser if you're looking at an index.html file or you're coding something in particular, right? So that's a recommendation for beginners. I suggest you get live server when you're coding just plain HTML and CSS to review your changes. The next one is MongoDB snippets. So when I work with Mongo database, I have MongoDB snippets. I need it because I don't know what I'm doing. This is just another recommendation for those who want to learn MongoDB and they don't know where to start. You can use this because it provides snippets. The next one is Node.js snippets. Okay, so Node.js snippets, you can see it's futures. There's no futures, it's just Node.js snippets. Okay, I don't even know why I got that. Anyways, PHP, that's, you know, it has default intelligence built into it. Uh, PHP debugger, PHP extension pack, which comes with pretty much everything. Prettier. Now, 
for all developers out there, and I mean all, doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, expert, or whatever you call yourself when you're egotistical, I suggest that you use this prettier tool because it makes your code cleaner, right? It looks cleaner, it looks a little bit more readable and professional, so I would suggest this in any work environment, any development environment, use prettier, it will just format the code to make it look clean and, you know, no empty spaces and gaps. The next one, Prisma, oh yeah, this is cool. So it adds syntax highlighting, formatting, and code completion, which is really cool what is this so obviously prisma if you don't know what it is it's just a it's like a tool which helps with database management essentially write less sql queries right you don't actually have to go ahead and learn you know sql language to actually write out this stuff so prisma kind of helps with that when you set up databases and stuff like that react snippets for react native you can see if i type in a specific command it will open up with like a specific component so you type in rnc that will do react native class component which is really cool and uh, that's about it so you can see the basic demonstration here of what it will do i've got react native tools which i absolutely have no clue what this is and i think that's just, just another add-on which came with it a uh, react native and redux snippets here's my personal favorite tab 9 ai autocomplete and it doesn't matter what programming language you write in this ai will help you write your code when you forgot something or you don't know in something in particular it will write it out for you and i think it can suggest comments too so it's similar to github copilot uh, but they don't need an access to your repository and stalk your projects okay tab 9 is just you, you you install it now and you have it in your vs code and it helps you write your code okay this is tab 9 pro but i don't have pro i just have the free version but it's really cool and it's effective sorry it's efficient to use okay so stick with it you know try it out and see how it goes next one is tailwind css and uh obviously who doesn't like tailwind honestly tailwind css it's really cool you can write you can see your utility classes and you don't have to go back to the documentation to read it and also there's a tailwind documentation built in to vs code if you go search up a tailwind docs or something that's another extension tailwind snippets helps you write more effective tailwind code the typescript extension pack which i showed before on like what it came with path intelligence and stuff like that which is really cool typescript importer just more typescript it's just more typescript junk okay so that's just so yeah, okay so we got jet brains here icons theme a uh, really good icon theme i do recommend it. it makes you you know look your vs code look cool and tailwind fold i actually haven't enabled this but that's what it does when you write tailwind code look at it it looks messy right but what it'll do is it'll just shrink all of it and it makes it cleaner like that so it makes it more readable i don't actually use it because i kind of want to see what i'm looking at so so basically that is all my vs code extensions if you have any questions or suggestions let me know down in the comments below and i'll get back to you i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video peace